Enabling errors in your PHP site can help you debug problems. For example, if we try to bring up a website and we just get a blank page, we don't really know why PHP is not able to display. We can open up a terminal and then edit the PHP configuration file to show the errors. You can use whichever program you like. If you want an experience like Notepad, you can use gedit. If you prefer command line, you can use v or nano or other program. The file we want to edit is in the Etsy directory. In the PHP folder. Under the version and then under Apache. You'll find a file called php.ini. We're going to open this file and then we're going to change two settings. If this is a development server. One of the things we're going to do is make the errors more robust. So we can search for error underscore reporting. Here we'll see some examples. For development, you can show all errors with E all. In production, you may not want to show warnings. We'll find the actual configuration in the second instance of that string. Here we have the error reporting variable. Note that it's not commented out because it's not preceded by a semicolon. Since this is a development server, we're going to go ahead and show all errors and remove the two settings that would suppress warnings. Next, we're going to make sure that display errors, which is near error reporting, is on. By default, it's off. We'll save our file, restart Apache, and then look at the site again. With Apache restarted, we go back to the site and browse the page again, and then we can start to see errors.